friends naturally Rhonda here if this is the first time that you're watching one of my videos then welcome please like and subscribe we have fun over here become a curl friend and if you're not new here if you're already a curl friend then welcome back this week I will be demo and reviewing some of the products that I used from this month's curl box so the products from the February 2020 curl box all came from Cream of Nature's Aloe and Black Castor Oil line. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, I will link it up here. So for this wash and go, I'm gonna start off with the Cream of Nature Aloe and Black Castor Oil Reconstructing Anti-Breakage Leave-In. And then I'm gonna top it off with my fave Wetline Extreme Gel. I already shampooed my hair with the Cream of Nature Aloe and Black Castor Oil shampoo. And I really, really enjoyed that shampoo. It actually had a little bit of slip to it, which is always a plus. It had a decent amount of slip, a nice lather, and my curls seemed to be clumping some just from the shampoo. Then after that, I followed up with the hair mask from that same line. I'm a fan. That hair mask is thick and moisturizing. I just rinsed it out of my hair and I was able to detangle with that conditioner. I mean that hair mask because they did not send a conditioner with that line. All right, first things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. I always like to go in with my products on wet hair. So I'm not the biggest fan of spray leave-ins, but this one seems a little creamy. It um, it reminds me of another Cream of Nature spray leave-in that I used. I think it was like seven in one. I think the Cream of Nature line with the argan oil in it, that one. They have a spray leave-in that I like and I did a video on that this was sometime last year i did that video so i will definitely put that in the cards above i'm just pumping the spray into my hand and then working it through my hair i'm going in mm, i think i did about like eight pumps for this section of my hair now i'm just subsectioning before i go in with the gel okay so this is what my first section is looking like and per usual, Wetline does not disappoint. So I'm just gonna keep it going with mm, maybe like eight to 10 of the little spritzes of the leave-in, wetting it down with the water before and after the leave-in, and then going in with a generous amount of gel. Then I do my little shingle separation and I'll be back when all the product is in.
so the product is all in i'm just gonna sit under my hooded dryer and i'll be back when it's all dry okay so my hair is finally dry i feel like it took forever for my roots to dry this time so my hair is about 97 percent dry and i was just over it so like i said it's about 97 percent dry and these are my finished results <laughs> So there's definitely definition. My hair doesn't feel dry as in like bad dry. Like I know I said it's still a little wet, but like I do feel like the leave-in was moisturizing enough. There are definitely some frizzy sections because that was my fault. While my hair was drying, I had kept touching it and looking in the mirror and all types of stuff that I know you're not supposed to do. Sometimes I just can't help it. It's like a compulsion or something. Am I the only one that sometimes has trouble keeping their hands out of their hair? Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. But my mom tells me I'm constantly touching my hair. Straight hair, curly hair, braided, twisted. It does not matter. My hands are always in my hair. I don't know. And of course, there was a gel cast. But that is to be expected with wet line. You know, you just take some oil once it's completely dry and just scrunch that crunch out and you're good to go. I love you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!